What's happening folks? Welcome back to the channel. Before we hop in this video, I have to say in advance that I'm really sorry because I made the decision to split this episode up into two parts. Now, the reason behind that is I started editing all the footage, okay? And if I were to compile all the clips that I had together, you all would be stuck with a 30 minute or more video and I'm not comfortable with that, nor do I want to put you guys through that, so I figured the best decision I can make was to split this up into two parts. Now with that being said, this is going to be part one, and I don't want to spoil everything, but we do catch fish in here. I will say that, we do catch fish, so you're not getting a video of me just getting skunked, but day one was extremely, extremely tough, and it was challenging. And that's what I like about these types of videos that I'm making, the fish catch review, is that they're challenging to me. This was going to be like a one whole video of day one and day two, but because of everything that happened, I just, I got to do it in two parts. So part two, I'm not going to spoil nothing on that. I will say though, you guys will like part two. And at the end of part two, I will have the review of all the baits that we use. So you'll get the pros and cons, what I liked, what I didn't like. You'll get all that at the end of the video. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it guys. So Again, I'm sorry, but thank you all for understanding. Thank you all for your support, and let's get into the video. What is going on, guys? Thank you guys again for tuning in. Welcome back to Johnny TV YouTube channel. Y'all, I have not fished in about two and a half, three-ish weeks. It's been killing me. I've had a big transition at work that's kind of prevented me from doing so, and then the days that I've had off, unfortunately, we've had inclement weather where it's been raining or it's been freezing cold. So finally, it's Memorial Day weekend and i'm out here early enough well it's like 8 30 now unfortunately i did get up at five to try to get that morning top water bite which is one of my favorites but uh i just i i couldn't make up my mind what i wanted to do in today's episode so if you guys remember maybe four or five videos back i did a h2o express thing where i did the rod reel combo but i bought a bunch of baits so today guys i brought those baits with me and i think we're gonna try to do an H2O Express fish catch review on their bait. So the one problem I have with it is they don't make soft plastics. So I don't know what the fish are eating right now. Once it gets warm today, I'd like to kind of throw like a Texas rig or some sort of soft plastic, but I can't because they don't make them. So we're gonna be limited on what we can use, but I'll go over all the baits with you guys in the chest cam. So that's what today's video is gonna probably be about. Other than me just wanting to come out and fish, I am going to pond hop a little bit today. So we get, we're at Skunk City right now. You guys, I got this nice Christmas tree. I don't know what this is. I think they called, they're called firs here in this state. I don't know. You can't see the fountain that's right behind you. And then we're going to hit another pond and then hit another pond and try to beat the rain. So that's the plan today. But we're just going to use the H2O Express baits. And if I have to resort to soft plastics, um, I'm just going to throw my 6 inch stuff on. So... But nonetheless, guys, we're going to fish with them. We're going to do a review at the end of the video, and I think that'll about do it. So let's get to fishing. Here's what we got today, guys. Now, prior to even getting a lot of the baits that I bought, I have actually had quite a few H2O Express baits before that I have used. Um, mainly what I've used the most, you guys have seen on the channel, is the spinner bait. Um, I, I, I can't, you can't go wrong with their spinner baits. I actually like them. But I have used some of their other stuff. Um, their poppers are really good, which I actually have one tied on right now, which is what we're going to start with. Again, I don't think that we made the time cut to really get the good top water bite. But I got some poppers. We got some lipless cranks for sure. Um, they have chatter baits, which I bought. I've, I kind of tried this out, but I just I gave up on it because I wanted to save it for the video. We actually really got some curly tail grubs just by Zoom, just because I. Again, there's no soft plastic, but I'll use them as trailers for the chatter bait or the spinner bait. Um, of course, we got some swim baits as well. I have used these before and have caught fish. And I got some frogs and like their style of whopper plopper, which I have not actually used before. But we'll see. Let me show you what we got brand new. We'll open them up today and we'll get them in. Uh, of course, another spinner bait. No, you know, no surprise there. Uh, we got a couple jerk baits. Now, again, when I bought these, ugh, um, it was a little colder. <laughs> so um we can still try these out i don't see why these couldn't work um but you know the weather's gonna be a little warm today so but we have those and then of course we got another chatter bait here and we got another lipless crank which is the chrome one which i actually really like this i'm pretty impressed with this i haven't used it but it's got a good weight on it 
got decent sound oh, so, oh shit hook sharp but um yeah it looks it looks really nice i think i think we can definitely get a fish on this today of course again you guys know i love my lipless cranks and my uh spinner bait so we'll definitely get those done today but we're going to start with a popper which i already have tied on and hopefully we can catch something if not we'll start switching up and then if it's kind of dead out here move to another pond they move to some slower baits we'll figure it out but today guys we're going to just try to use the majority of our h2 express baits then we'll talk about them at the end and that'll be it so let's get these in the box and let's go fish all right we're going to move down a little bit of course to our normal spot here on the drain the popper is just really not cutting it right now so we're going to give it a few more casts i did tie on this uh this swim bait here this little bluegill imitation swim bait so hopefully, um, if they're not biting on top, maybe we'll go kind of mid-range and see if we can get anything, um, get anything that may be suspended above the, above the water, or I'm sorry, above the surface. And then if nothing, we'll move to the bottom. And then if not, we'll just go to another spot and fish. So see if we get anything here on the top though. Perfect. Oh, there we go. Woo, boy, he hit the heck out of that. There we go. Nice. Get over here, guy. That's a decent sized fish, too. Whew. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, I'm not gonna try to get freaking hooked by you. Screw you. Dude, this is a pretty healthy fish. Well, there we go. So, let's get him back in. He came and ate the heck out of that. There we go, dude. Thank you, awesome. All right, let's see where this might work. Oh. Kind of let it sink. All right, guys, I had to change batteries, so. I went ahead and grabbed my box. We went ahead and swapped out the popper for this little whopper plopper style uh, bait. Not used this before, so it's going to be a new one. Seems like it will create enough noise in the water for them to want to bite it. Now, like I said, just a while ago, I seen some uh, fish blow up over here. So I just scared something off over here. So let's see if, see if they're eating something on the top still. Um, oh, this doesn't look too bad. I'd like to have a nice freaking like blow up on this. That'd be freaking awesome. Well, we've been at this pond for about an hour almost. It's uh, like 9.25. Kind of exhausted a little bit of top water possibly. Um, we can still try the swim bait. See if they're kind of at the uh, underneath a, a bit more feeding. But as of right now, man, I don't. We're not doing too much anymore on the top. It's starting to warm up, so maybe uh, we'll get a few more casts in, and we'll move maybe move to the other pond. All right, made it to pond number two. Nice little trek through the roadways and houses. But we made it i know before we came uh over here i uh tied on the h2 express chatterbait um just put a six cents divine uh, swim bait on it so 
let's see if we can entice something with this uh, little bluegill swim bait first and then move on to the next bait. I have a fish, but he's not very big unless he's swimming toward me. Oh, he freaking let go, dude. Well, all right, small hiccup. I had a resident come out here and completely complain about me being on her property which I'm not she doesn't understand the signs there's signs here that say catch and release fishing only on both sides the same signs are on the other side of the pond that we were just at as well she said that I put these signs here um, and then said that only her her yard is private property but nobody else is so and I've got permission from the guy that lives at this house the guy that lives at this house the I guess the lady that runs the HOA board here in the neighborhood so she wasn't happy about it but whatever Karen I don't care But guys, if you're watching this and you encounter a situation like that, there we go, got a fish, and you encounter something like that, um, oh, he spit it. Anyways, you encounter something like that, you know, be respectful. Don't be a total tool, you know, just freaking, you know, if you're on someone's property, even if you don't know you are, just kindly move down or whatever you got to do just to please them you know and if if you have to just to avoid any confrontation with the police you know then go you know but if police get called on you all i can ask guys is just be respectful you know i promise you right now that um police coming out to handle someone fishing in a lake or a pond is the least of any worries for them all right guys kind of a little halftime intermission whatever this is today um we got one fish i was on the top water popper um we moved over to the second pond i've thrown chatterbait i've thrown the little whopper plopper i've thrown um the lipless crank i'm not getting anything on it the fish could just not be wanting to bite today or i could just be terrible who knows um i did have a did have a bite on the uh the chatterbait here and i don't know i can't say whether it was the bait that wasn't good why i didn't get it in i mean it could very well be user error um but i got a i got a bite set the hook fish jumped out of the water and then it spit it so it's kind of where we're at on that the chatterbait just really i'm not feeling it unfortunately really don't like it but you know again that's what this kind of video is about it's a little fish catch and review to kind of give you my guys you know give you guys my opinion on everything and kind of review what i think about it and all that and if it's up to you guys to determine whether you want to go out and buy these baits and try them out or not so i think what i'm gonna do we've been at this pond for about an hour now had a little bit of a hiccup with a resident over here um telling me that i'm not welcome here that you know everyone's property is not private other than hers and that i put these signs up that say you know you can fish here you know all, whatever she said and she's being salty being a karen but you know whatever i kind of moved down to the neighbor's house right here this guy's really cool and the guy in this house over here is, is super cool too and so they don't have a problem with me fishing here but All right, guys, we are at spot number two. I literally just walked up here and I probably had, I don't know how many fish sitting up here, just freaking took off. So let's 
a good sign they're up shallow but let's see how they're acting um i'm gonna throw the texas rig first before i start throwing anything um swimming because this is still full of vegetation and i mean a bunch of hydrilla so probably have better better luck with this looks like the storms are coming too so that's that's great yeah that's the storm's coming in got him oh this feels like a good one unless he's just in the freaking weeds oh my god i really hope it's not a fish in all of this or if this is definitely no fish oh my god y'all seen this look at this pb hydrilla dude this is ridiculous <laughs> There we go. Finally. Whew. Finally got a fish. Took forever. Little guy. Wasn't on uh, any of the. Wasn't <laughs> on any of our H2 Express stuff, but whatever. We're gonna try this again. Back on the spinner bait. Oh god. Oh, I got thumped hard. There we go. We got one. There we go. On the spinnerbait, finally. Feels like a decent one. Could just be another small one. There we go, guys. Second fish out here in the new spot. Um, yeah, dude, he choked that. Yeah, on the spinnerbait. So there we go. Now we got our uh, now we got our spinnerbait out the way for the H2 Express stuff. Let's toss him back in. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Let's uh, fix this knot here. God bless, I'm in so much freaking hydrilla. He's got it. There we go. Oh, did he let it go? No, he's still on. He came off. I'm gonna go back in the water. There he goes. Cool. There he goes. He's got it. There we go. Nice. There we go. He even got that, didn't he? Boom, look at that. It's a, it's a decent sized fish. Mm.
This thing is god awful. I'm sorry. 